it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and I just have a few things out of my desk I thought I would um, show you guys. Uh, just some stuff I've bought recently. Um, yesterday I bought some yarn. I'm trying to make some Amigurumi dolls, and um, there's a girl that I've been watching on YouTube, and this is her site. It's called Golden Jelly Bean, and she has some great um, dolls that she makes. She does like anime and superheroes and stuff and she teaches you how to crochet um, and how to make the dolls. So I'm working on one right now. I'm actually trying to make a Mickey Mouse. Now she doesn't have a pattern up there. I did call or I emailed her to see if she would make one but this is how I'm doing my crochet. I feel terrible because I did a video a while back of how to crochet and I was teaching you guys just to go in the back loop which is like that but she's saying to go completely under the little V um, so you can see I mean you can go in the back loop and you can go in the front loop but it gives it a different look so this part going through here was just through the back loops but this part um, is going directly under the little V do you know what I mean like that little part there so you go completely under both loops and that's a single crochet there so I'm working on something right now I'm trying to make Mickey Mouse now like I said I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm following one of her patterns this is how to make the head of one of her hers so what I came up with on my own was this little thing oh I was wondering what that noise was it's my needle so I'm kinda coming up with his head and then this is gonna be you know the part of Mickey that his it has the little peak that comes down so I don't know if this is gonna work or not but I'm doing the head the way she said and I started to do the head the way she said with this one and then I'm just kinda making this part up so we'll see what happens I don't know but it's gonna come down like this and then I have to do the eyes and obviously put some ears on there and then I'm gonna follow the rest of the pattern the way she says um, to make the body she does like a little sack boy so again, her site is um, Golden Jelly Bean, and she's amazing. Okay, and then along those lines, I went to town the other day and I got some eyes to go with it here. Now, I bought this first little pair. They look like a brown teddy bear eye, and they have the washers that come with them, and the bottom of them is like... Oh, I've got stuff on my finger. Um, the bottom of them, it looks like a screw and then you push the washer on and they're safety eyes for little kids. So I paid $2.25 in town but then I went out to another store and I actually got the same ones in brown and then a little bit smaller in blue and smaller again in the yellow and the guy sold them to me for 25 cents a pair. So I thought that was a bit better deal and then the washers that um, come with them. Now I ordered the tiny little um, let me just put these back so I don't lose them. I ordered these little eyes that they show on here and they're like a raised bump eye and I ordered um, six millimeters and eight millimeter. Uh, they're coming from Hong Kong so Lord knows how long that's gonna take. But, so that's what I'm working on with that. And when I went to the yarn store yesterday in town, um, they had some more free patterns. So I grabbed these ones. This is a crochet, it's called a Ripple Luncheon Mat. So there's that one. This is a crochet berry spice scarf. I thought that was kind of cute. These are cute, little crochet trees. I think they're crochet, are they crochet? Yeah, crochet. Crochet trees, I thought that was adorable. And then this is that Starbella yarn. I showed you guys um, a scarf back around Christmas time. This is a whole vest with that same yarn, so I just grabbed it. You never know. And then this is a shimmer mesh scarf. This one, and that's a crochet. This one's crochet. It's a, a shimmy shawl. This one is knit, and it's a splendid triangle shawl. And then this one here is a crochet simple shrug, which I thought was kind of cute. So those are some more patterns that I got the other 
today and yesterday. And then what else did I get? Oh, I went to the barn, that secondhand store, and I actually picked these books up. I bought them for my um, uh, lace making teacher. So these were just secondhand. They sold them to me for 50 cents each. But this is Hardanger, and this is how you, where's the word? Hardanger. Um, and it's just all little patterns, and she does this. So I saw these um, patterns there, so I grabbed those for her. She brought one in one day to show me, so I grabbed it for her. And then there's this one here. So I'm going to take those to her when I go to my next lesson. And speaking of lace making, my book arrived the other day, my technique of bobbin lace, and this... I don't know, did I show this already on my last video? I can't remember. This is considered, this was on Amazon, it was considered a secondhand book. There is nothing wrong with it. It's in, it's in brand new condition. And in fact, it was autographed by the um, author. So I was very thrilled to get that. So now I have my own copy and I gave my teacher back hers. And then this is my latest project. I still have it in the bag, I haven't taken it out. And this is my latest bookmark. This was the one that I was having so much trouble with. I kind of changed, sorry, I've got it all pinned to close here. I kind of changed the end of it um, <laughs> because I just wasn't paying attention. And I was supposed to pin and I didn't, but the bottom turned out okay. Um, oh my gosh. So you have to cover it over when you're traveling so it doesn't get all messed up. All right, the big reveal. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> Gosh, I have this thing so pinned down. There we go. Let me put all these in here first. So there is my bookmark. It's all finished. So yeah, the bottom here I did some weird twisty thing I didn't mean to do. And there's um, a blue gimp thread that runs all the way through that was pretty cool. Let me just um, take all the rest of the pins out. When I finished it last week, it had to sit um, on the pillow for like another 24 hours because you just have to let the... Um, threads relax a little bit so you have to once you're done you have to leave it so I finished it and I came home and then I haven't looked at it since so I had never taken it off the pillow so I'm working on another little doily because what's gonna happen now is that the kids have about a month of school left and so I only have a few weeks of classes because then my kids are off for the summer and the craft market gets very busy um, with tourists and stuff. So she doesn't really have a lot of time in the summer to be teaching. I mean, she could. She, I'm sure she would do it. It would be fine. But again, I have nowhere for my kids to go because they're home with me. And um, I did a video of the craft market where I go to on my last um, channel. I believe it's video number 33. It's on my Little Pink Cottage channel. And I take you guys on a little scooter tour. And I show you dockyard where the cruise ships come in. And I did a little video of where I sit to do my um, lace making. And we had just come back from lunch and the other ladies that I was there with, there's my teacher and two other ladies, um, they just hadn't come back to the table yet. So, and that's actually the back. So here it is, completed. This one was so hard. Hang on, let me flip this over so you can have like a bit of a solid background. This one was so difficult to do and I was so frustrated with it. You can see in each little diamond shape here, I do a different technique. But that's really cool. Um, I was not going to give up. And I got it done. So yeah, the bottom there 
It was supposed to come all the way in really close, but it did this weird little twisty thing, but that's all right. That's okay. But yeah, so this one I kept joking with her that I was going to um, find a place over my fireplace and put a spotlight on it and hang this up because this one, <laughs> I found it to be so difficult. So let me just put it over there for now. I ordered my bobbin lace supplies, so they're going to be coming hopefully soon. I ordered them from that company, Snow Goose, and um, yeah, so hopefully they'll be coming and I'm going to do maybe like a little beginner lesson with um, the bobbin lace, so if anyone wants to watch. I grabbed another embroidery hoop. Whenever I see these at the barn, I just grab them. They're 50 cents. So why not? And then these, uh, let me just grab them here, for those artist, uh, artist trading cards that I've, oops, I am knocking everything over right now. I have got to do some tweaking with my shelves here. They're getting messy. Of course, I grabbed the wrong book. Hang on. These ones here, these artist trading cards that I've done, and I showed you before, I found a little sleeves. Now, I think this is what I bought. I haven't opened them yet. Um, they're 100 individual card sleeves, so I got 300 of them for a dollar. So that was pretty good. And I think what you do is you can take, like if I had these out separately, you have these little sleeves. Now, I think they fit because people, yep, yay! So you can still have them in the sleeve and then they still fit inside of there. But what would be nice is that if people took them out for whatever reason, they're still protected. Or I could gather them all up and put them in a little um, container and take them with me if I did anything. Or if I end up selling these at some point, I have a little sleeve that they can go in and protect them a little bit better. So I thought that was pretty neat for a dollar. And then I bought some buttons because I thought these might be neat for the Amigurumi dolls. So I bought some little ones like that. And then these ones were pretty neat. The little wooden buttons I figured for scrapbooking or whatever. But I thought maybe for the dolls because I would like to make my sister um, one of these dolls because she had mentioned at one point um, that she would like to have one. And then I'll just show you this area here. This is where um, I'm working on my cards for my Etsy shop and this is my little storage area. This basket used to be in my kitchen. If you saw any of my kitchen organizing videos, um, this was in, um, in the kitchen on the counter next to the stove and now I'm using it for my little Etsy area. Right now I have a whole bunch of balloons. My birthday was last week and I have some leftover Mother's Day balloons. So those are all just hanging from the back of my desk there. Um, but yeah, so in here I have um, the string that I use to tie up my cards and I have my business cards, which if you buy a card, I will put a business card with it. And then these are these are my cards. So they're all wrapped up and I have them all in here so that they stay nice and tidy and says thank you for your order. And then on the back it says what the card is and I have them tied up and these are my little tags that I use to put on there. So I have those all ready to go. And then I have an extra piece of brown paper um, just because it was left over. Then I have my bubble envelopes. I now have some square envelopes, so I'm going to be making some square cards, which I will show you in a minute. And then I have my um, 5x7 envelopes, and then I just have my, uh, there's a green folder back there with all the orders that I've um, placed through eBay to buy my envelopes and things. Now, this is a my latest card that I'm working on. This is going to be one of these, hang on, I might have to, and we'll see what happens when I open it. Um, this is going to be, I think, a travel theme, but this is my accordion card. This is what it's looking like so far, and it folds up, so it's about five by five. Then I have another one here that's done all in purples, so I haven't done anything 
on that one yet. And then these were Christmas ones. These are actually six by six that I had started to make for my family. So I just ran out of time at Christmas, but I'm going to finish those off in a video at some point and make those um, for Christmas. But these smaller ones will be available on my Etsy shop at some point, and I'm going to be doing um, the embellishments that's going to go on there. It's a little girl. Now, I put her aside. Just one sec. Alright, so here's all my little embellishments. These are, you know the Hillshire Farm containers that I use? Um, they look like this. Well, Hillsh sorry, I keep bumping the drywall. Hillshire Farms changed their containers. So they used to be big and thick, now they're a little bit narrow, and they're more square, as you can see, but they're clear, and I like those, so I'm starting to collect those now. Um, so this is the girl that's going to go on this card. So it's a little travel one, and then I came up with this little one, and I was thinking of that for more of the of this purple kind of card. So that's what's coming up with that one. And then this one here, like I said, it's going to be a travel theme. So she's going to be in the middle in on her trip and trying to figure out, oops, sorry, which way to go. And then, um, yeah, so it's my little travel girl. And I have a couple other ideas for drawings for her and some of my embellishments. So that is what's coming up on my Etsy shop, so stay tuned for those. I have to get working on those. And um, yeah, that's, um, oh, and I had a couple other things to show you. These were some needlepoint things that I had finished recently. There's my morning glories. But as you can see, it's kind of warped. I'm new at needlepoint, so if anyone can point out to me why it does that, um, I still have to wash it, so maybe it'll straighten out when I do that. And then this one I did the other day, the rose. I think I'm still going to do the background all black, um, like I did with the other one. And then I finished um, my Bermuda cross stitch, and I have put it in the pouch where I always put my cross stitches when I'm done because I haven't framed any of them yet. And this is my Hamilton Bermuda one. So that is all done. And I have one of uh, St. George's that I'm going to do at some point. And then the other day I just um, set up my cross stitch um, holder. And there's a pattern that I'm, actually it's in here, there's a pattern I'm going to be working on. I think I'm going to go back to working on this, and I just put it on my frame the other day to work on. But this is what I had done um, a few years ago, and that's what I did on it. They had it, they show it on a, a lighter fabric, but I, I just like it on this darker one for whatever reason. I just like the darker colors and the linens. So there you have it. That is what I've been up to. And yeah, like the cross stitches here and the needle points, I'm just trying to pick a project and um, focus on a couple things and get some stuff done. Oh, and this is an old pattern I found the other day at the barn. I thought that was really cute. You gotta love Holly Hobby. And then they have, they show her in the different colors. So I thought that was sweet. Anyway, so that is, uh, what I've been working on and I will be up with back with an update um, of what I finished. Oh, no, I have one more thing. Hmm. Okay, hang on. All right, I just want to show you these. They have these on, um, they show these on Pinterest and they're called Barefoot Sandals. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but my niece wanted a pair of these. I showed these on my other um, channel. Um, they're barefoot sandals and what you do is you put your second toe um, through there and then there's long strings at the end of the strings I just did a little circle so it would match the center here and you wind these around your ankles so I made her a pair and the yarn that I used was this it's Aunt Lydia's Fashion 3 crochet thread so I used obviously the neutral color but then I bought some other colors this is um, coral 
and this one is warm teal and then I bought this one as well and this is lime so it's a size 3 and it recommends that you use a 3.5 or an E4 um, crochet hook so okay now I'm done <laughs> all right thanks for watching guys okay see ya